Welcome to Unsolicited, where I make videos about things that nobody asked me to. Lately, I've noticed that the internet has been buzzing about Kim Kardashian's recent weight loss after this picture was posted from her sister Kylie's 25th birthday celebration. It was taken even further, and people are pointing out that there are a few other celebs who are noticeably smaller lately. What is it? Diet? Exercise? A mini gastric sleeve? Does this mark the end of the BBL era? Let's talk about it. Disclaimer, this video is in no way, shape, or form body shaming any of the women I'm going to speak about. We all know that the Kardashians have had a heavy influence on pop culture trends, especially the beauty standard. When Kim first came on the scene in 2007, her booty was the the most discussed feature and the world's fascination with her curves helped propel her to stardom. Throughout the years, we've seen Kim's weight fluctuate, but we've never seen her as thin as she is now. Kim's new figure has raised some concerns in her comments, and I've seen a few TikTok videos pointing this out as well. Why we need to start talking about Kim Kardashian's drastic body changes. The disclaimer, this isn't body shaming them. This, this picture is Kim in April at Coachella. And this picture is Kim in July. The reason people have been bringing this up is because of the pictures that have surfaced from Kylie's 25th birthday. These are the pictures in question. I've seen so many theories how it could be a mini gastric bypass surgery. A new kind of lipo called smart lipo. I've seen theories of her using amphetamines and different prescription dieting pills. Again, this is all alleged and many people are saying it's because they're trying to regain interest of Gen Z. Hold on. I just want to show y'all something really quickly. I'm getting scared. I know that some people are naturally this skinny, and I'm not coming for them, but Kim has never been this damn small. Kim's weight loss is probably as a result of several different factors. Kim has always expressed her desire to live a healthy lifestyle and eat healthy. She also has mentioned that she has a pretty vigorous workout routine. Kim eats a mostly plant-based diet with no meat. She's even a brand ambassador for Beyond Meat. And she also wakes up at the crack of dawn to work out six days a week with her trainer. Recently, Kim took her weight loss to the next level when she lost 16 pounds in three weeks to fit into Marilyn Monroe's Happy Birthday, Mr. President dress. Even though, according to the Mayo Clinic, the safest rate to lose weight is one to two pounds per week. And Kim was triple that amount. To fit into Marilyn's dress, Kim cut out all sugar, carbs, ate clean, and drank tons of water. She also said that she would wear a sauna suit twice a day and run on the treadmill, and lo and behold, Kim was able to fit into the dress. I tried it on and it didn't fit me, and so I looked at them and I said, give me like three weeks, and I, I had to lose 16 pounds down today to, to be able to fit this, but I it was okay. such a challenge. It was like a roll. Right. I was You're determined. Yeah, yeah, I was exactly. determined to but fit you, it. You were like eating tomatoes. I don't think like they believe me. I don't think they believe that I was going to do it. I know Kim had a specific purpose for her weight loss, but I think that the intense dieting to fit into a dress sends the wrong message. You should wear clothes that fit you, not clothes you have to change yourself to fit into. Kim also revealed on the Today Show that she is now down 21 pounds. You had to lose 16 pounds to fit into the dress, which I don't know where you found 16 pounds. Some people are like, oh, she shouldn't have done that, or what message mm -hmm. does it send? What do you think about all that? Yeah, you know, I looked at it like a roll, and I mm -hmm. really wanted to wear this dress. <laughs> like, I, it, it was really important to me, and, um, you know, it actually taught me a lot about my lifestyle and my mm. health, and since then, afterwards, I continued to eat really healthy. I mean, I'm down 21 pounds now. Wow. I'm not trying to lose any more weight, wow. but I have more energy than ever. I cut out so much sugar. A lot of junk food I was eating. I didn't yeah. even realize it. A lot of fried foods. Mm. And I just completely changed my lifestyle. A year ago, my body fat percentage was 25%, and now it is 18.8%. Yeah, so that would be considered acne category athlete category you hear that obviously kim seems satisfied with her weight loss but it doesn't stop her fans from expressing their concern on her social media pages however kim isn't the only kardashian that fans are worried about people have been commenting for some time now that chloe is also noticeably thinner Throughout the years, Chloe's weight has also fluctuated and her body has always been a sensitive topic for her. When Keeping Up With The Kardashians first started, because her sisters were smaller framed in comparison, Chloe was branded as the fat sister and people would make horrendous comments about her weight and her weight was also a big topic of discussion on the show. It's shot for bringing this up, but don't you think you'd lose, lose a few pounds? What? Don't you think you should lose a few pounds? I don't think she should lose anything. She's perfect the way she is. No, I'm just saying. I'm called and said to me, you're gaining weight, you gained 30 pounds. You're ruining this endorsement and that endorsement. I was like, one, I didn't gain 30 pounds, and two, I'm not ruining 
I'm a human being, yeah. and if I gain a couple pounds here and there... If you gain pounds, there, you can get a, you know, a big girl's endorsement anyway. Chloe has admitted that back then she was an emotional eater and would try different diet fads to try and lose weight. She also felt pressure to be slimmer to keep up with her sisters. She even became an ambassador for Quick Trim, which her and her sisters later got sued for because the main ingredient, caffeine, was not FDA approved for weight loss. Chloe evolved and found healthier ways to lose weight slowly over a period of time by eating clean and working out five to six times a week. You got some f body oh, on I you. Oh, thank you. Oh, I my God. Hard for this body. You're goddamn right you do. I was the fat one, and now I... Yeah, like you were the one everyone was goofing on. Yeah. And, and, and that must have been really bad for you growing up. Well, my entire life, I've always been compared to Courtney and Kim. They've always been... Hot. Hot. And right. even in your so-called awkward phase, they didn't... <laughs> I don't feel bad for their awkward phase. You started hitting the gym obsessively, right? Yeah. You are ripped right now, right? Are Thank you in the you. best shape of your life? For sure. Yeah. Definitely. I, I agree. I follow the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe became the face of physical fitness, even hosting her own weight loss show called Revenge Body on E. The show is a little problematic and received controversy because it creates the notion that thinner is better and that the best way to deal with a breakup is to change your physical appearance. Currently, Chloe may be in her Revenge Body era after breaking up with her cheating baby daddy, Tristan Thompson. Fans noticed that Chloe has been looking slimmer lately and have expressed some concerns. Can we just talk about how skinny Chloe Kardashian has gotten? And no, I'm not trying to be mean, but like her legs are so small. Like Chloe was always like, like the regular size queen. Like, you know what I mean? Like she was never like, I never thought Chloe was plus size, never ever. But like, she was just like the typical, like, like what she, what she like was typical. But she's so tiny. I just don't understand. Like, I, should I blame Tristan? Should we be blaming Tristan? I think we should be blaming Tristan. I think that if Chloe is content with herself, then that's all that matters. The Kardashians aren't the only people who are on the thinner side nowadays. People also pointed out that Lori Harvey has dropped a lot of weight. Lori mentioned on her Instagram story that she had gained 15 pounds of relationship weight while she was with Michael B. Jordan, and because of this, she started a super strict diet and working out like crazy to help drop the weight. Okay, so I just left my Pilates class, and I see uh, the girls are signing up for Pilates now. Love that for you guys. Um, but everybody's been asking, like, what it is I specifically did to get my body to this point. So, when Mike and I got together, I gained, like, 15 pounds of relationship weight, and it was horrible. None of my clothes fit. It was just not okay. So, I've been consistently doing Pilates for, like, the last year. I've done it for a few years, but I've been really consistent the last year. And when i was trying to drop weight i was working out like five six times a week and i would even do like for the first month and a half i think i did two days so what i would do was i was in a calorie deficit i think i maybe was consuming like 1200 calories in a day max and i wasn't on like a specific eating regimen i just was trying to do like meat and veggies and like minimal carbs and then I had this sprint interval circuit that I would do. So I would do Pilates in the morning and then I would leave there and I would sometimes directly go to the gym and hop on the treadmill for 30 minutes. And it's a specific sprint interval workout I did. So if you guys want that, I'll give it to you later. So then I would do that or I also like to do like a hike or I would go run the stairs, just some type of cardio that's how you drop because Pilates alone is not going to make you lose weight. It's just going to give you long lean muscles. So yeah, that's how I did it. She restricted herself to 1200 calories per day, even though at least 1600 calories is recommended. She also went to Pilates five to six days out of the week and did intense cardio. It's crazy to think that Lori felt the need to go on this intense diet because in my opinion, Lori has always looked great. Her weight could also have something to do with her new modeling career. Lori recently announced that she was signed with IMG Models, and I'm not saying that that's the case here, but I know that the modeling industry can be pretty toxic. I mean, Yolanda Hadid literally had her girls eating almonds to become supermodels. I think that all these new crazy strict celebrity diets can have a very detrimental effect on those who are already impressionable. I mean, we already see people trying to stimulate the same weight loss by doing Lori and Kim's diets. With people who may already have disordered eating, spreading this kind of message is definitely not beneficial, especially when some of these celebrities may be using methods other than diet and exercise to achieve their figure. I've seen some rumors that there's people getting a procedure done called the mini sleeve. The mini sleeve is a less invasive version of the weight loss surgery that bariatric patients get on My 600 Pound Life. Basically, they just make your stomach skinnier so that you can't fill it up as much, therefore you eat less and lose weight. The surgery is pretty quick. It takes about 30 minutes to complete. There's minimal scarring. 
And you can be back to work within two to three days, which is why people are speculating that celebrities are getting the surgery because it's so convenient. One thing that will never go out of style is being skinny. Skinny women are now getting weight loss surgery. We all know Dr. Now. He famously performs the gastric sleeve on bariatric patients. This here is when they remove 80% to 85% of the stomach. But what skinny women are getting is the mini sleeve. This only removes 40% of your stomach, which only lets you eat two bites of food at a time. Mariah Carey openly had this. We love her. The sign of it is having very loose arm skin from the rapid weight loss. Doctor is pretty sure that these two had it with the ridiculous amount of weight they've lost in such a short period of time and been able to keep it off. There's also a drug called Ozempic, which is originally for helping people with type 2 diabetes lose weight, that is also rumored to be being used. Ozempic, the mini sleeve, lipo, all of these are just rumors, and it really could just be good old diet and exercise. We will never know the truth. It seems like the new beauty standard is being thin that the era of the BBL is phasing out. I mean, don't get me wrong, people are still very much hopping on flights to Tijuana, Miami, Timbuktu, wherever you go to enhance your assets. <laughs> but the Kardashians, the pioneers of the BBL, have seemingly gotten their BBLs reduced, which could mean that the trend is ending, as sick as it is to consider the human body a trend. It's like the 90s aesthetic of being supermodel thin might be making a comeback, which is definitely dangerous. That beauty standard was the cause of a lot of disordered eating and dieting fads, and I hope we don't let the mistakes of the past haunt us today. In recent years, that super skinny ideal of the 90s had evolved into being slim thick as the new goal. So much so that people were dying getting fat injected into their butts. Whereas in the 90s, early 2000s, if somebody told you that you had a big butt, y'all were fighting. Even though it seems that now the girls want to be super skinny again, being thick and having curves will never go out of style, especially in the black community where that was always the ideal. But when will the beauty standard be just natural, what your mama and God gave you? Society's obsession with bodies is sickening. It's all about your weight and body fat percentage and this and that. What about your soul? What about what's on the inside? Tu corazón. Your body is just a vessel to get you through life. Like, yeah, we're young and cute now, but we're all going to get old and wrinkly, even though some of us will do anything to prevent that from happening. I really be scratching my head wondering how some of these people are going to look when they're 80 plus. Well, that's it. That's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all the things that YouTubers be telling people to do, and I'll see you next time. Bye.